Hello and welcome to Tile Coach. My name is Isaac Ostrom. I am so glad you're here with me today. Now I'm going to be doing some foam shower pan versus mud shower pan testing. Now the other tests that I've done before used a penny mosaic, a little penny round mosaic. So by the comments that you guys left below, you guys wanted to see a two by two porcelain tile on the shower pans and do the same test. So I'm giving that to you. So I built these mock-ups, this foam shower pan. It has the flow effects, traditional drain in it. It has a preformed foam pan. This is a 48 by 48 that I've cut down. They're built on a pallet with three quarter inch plywood on them. So they are very sturdy. There's no give in these shower pans. It's a very strong substructure. This should be a good test. So I'm gonna be doing drop testing on the foam pan and the mud pan. So let's get started. The first thing I wanna test dropping is just a heavy tape measure. Now these tape measures, especially like a 25 or a 30 footer are pretty heavy. I don't know exactly how much they weigh, but if you drop them, they can pack a punch. So I wanna see if both of these hold up. I think both of them will, but let's try it anyways. The next thing I'm gonna do is a hammer. So a hammer is probably, so I don't know how realistic it is to have a hammer in a tiled shower pan. When you're doing tile work, you're, you're more with trowels but maybe you, you had a hammer because you needed to break a, a tile out on the wall or something. Anyways, we're gonna try a drop test with this hammer. And lastly, which I believe is probably the biggest threat to these shower pans, is using a 12 by 24 porcelain tile. Now this is a pretty heavy duty Italian porcelain tile. This is probably about 10 pounds. Most porcelain goes about five pounds per foot, this two square feet. It's very plausible that someone could be setting a 12 by 24 porcelain tile on the wall. It slips, it drops on the pan. So let's see how these will hold up to that as well. The tape measure, I'm gonna drop it from about hip height. Let's see if anything happens. And nothing happened, we're all good. Okay, now we're gonna step it up. We're gonna use a hammer, same thing. I'm just gonna go from about hip height. I'm gonna to try to land it with the head of the hammer dropping right down onto a tile. Okay, so we got a chip in the tile. We got a chip in the tile. It doesn't seem like we have any damage to the substructure to the foam because none of the grout cracked. So it looks like the tile stayed intact. The porcelain tile just chipped. Okay, so now we got the porcelain tile. I'm gonna hold this up, I don't know, about three feet off of the ground and we'll see what happens when this drops. I'm gonna try not to hurt myself. So here we go. Porcelain tile dropped, we have a puncture all the way through the tile. Now, I'm not sure here if this punched down, you know, into the foam. That corner of the tile just, it, it definitely punched through the porcelain tile. So not only would this tile need to be removed, um, I'm gonna remove this tile to see if there's damage that occurred down below the tile itself and if it got into this foam pan. Now we're on the mud pan. This is a, a nice sturdy mud base uh, with uh, just hydroban waterproofing over it. And so let's see, I doubt anything will happen. Yeah, nothing happens with the tape measure. We're all good. Just bounced right off. Okay, hammer, same thing, uh, right onto the tile. Okay, okay, same thing happened here as over there. Just the tile chipped. So you can see here we have just a chip in the tile, no damage to the grout or any penetration through it. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing with the porcelain tile here. Again, about a three foot drop. Now let's see what happens. Try not to hurt myself here. Three foot drop. Okay. Okay, so here's the hammer drop, here's the tile drop. Again, it chipped the tile. We definitely chipped the tile, but it didn't puncture down through like the other one. There wasn't as much um, going through. So again, this tile would need to be replaced, but it doesn't look like any damage underneath. Whereas this one over here, we got a pretty good gouge in there. Now let's see what happens when we remove this tile. Let's see if there's any damage underneath.
gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams. A lot of people make fun of me for using these wood chisels, but I found they work great. All right, so yeah, you can see here, now that I have the tile out, the porcelain tile did get pushed down into the curdy. Here's some of the curdy. But yeah, the tile, this, this chunk, let me get this out of here. And this was Schluter all set, by the way. Nice coverage under the tile. I was very careful of that when I built this to get full coverage under these tiles to make an accurate test. But this piece of porcelain right here has lodged itself all the way down into the curdy pan. And I should be able to get a shot of this after I vacuum it. So you can see it's punctured through the curdy membrane so you can see right here, this is, this is white foam right here where it split, where it punched through. See this little, little bit of white foam there. But yeah, right there, that's where it punched down and we have white foam showing through. So the waterproofing layer has been compromised here. Gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull them. Okay, so there you can see it pretty closely. The tear that happened in the curdy membrane from that tile dropping, which would have to be repaired very diligently. And we'll go over more of that a little bit later. But let's see what happened to the other pan. You gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel, yeah. Push and pull and repel any hate, go create what you want, feel compelled, yeah. Once you finally get a taste of the race, you'll never look back once you felt that. Don't let somebody take your time and your work, just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time and your work, just focus on yourself first. Don't let somebody take your time and your work, just focus on yourself first. You can see here with the mud base and the hydro band that the tile did not puncture down through the waterproofing because this is a solid base that that force couldn't punch down through. So the repair was much easier. There's no damage to the waterproofing layer. We would just be able to put a new tile back on here and grout it up and it would be fixed. Whereas with this guy, we'd have a whole nother mess on our hands because there's no way with Schluter they don't have a liquid waterproofing. They do have curdy fix, but they would not recommend doing a waterproofing repair with curdy fix. You would have to remove a big section of tile and then put a patch of curdy felt right here, which my concern with it would be that you would have buildup from the sheets of membrane right because you'd have to put down a layer of thin set then you'd have to put down curdy membrane which would build this whole thing up and if you're able to plan it out you could kind of roll your tile up and over it but if you're only removing these tiles they're going to be sitting up higher than the tiles around it so i don't know how you would do that possibly you could maybe shave the back of the tile to make it thinner you know, these nine tiles right here, that's probably what would have to be done 
is maybe somehow grind the tiles down to make them thinner so that you didn't have a bump up because with curdy membrane as you get the layers it builds up and probably about a sixteenth of an inch there so that wouldn't work out very well. In conclusion if you're dropping lighter weight objects like a tape measure or even a hammer these foam pans and the mud pan hold up about the same but as you get heavier and if you were to drop a 12 by 24 porcelain tile on its corner onto the foam pan you would have damage to the waterproofing layer it would be compromised and you'd have to figure out a solution to waterproof that area again whereas with the mud pan all you have to do is simply replace the tile and you're good to go. I'm not against foam pans. You've seen me use them in my videos. Again, once the shower is built, there is very little that could happen to one of these foam shower pans. But as it's under construction and as it's being tiled with these heavy porcelain tiles, if one were to drop, it would compromise the whole system. So these videos are meant to inform and educate let me know what you think about it. If you're a mud guy or you're a foam guy, let me know and why. I love to read your comments. It not only is enlightening our whole community, it's helping me get ideas to make more videos for you. So again, thank you so much for being here and I love you. I love being your tile coach and we'll see you on the next video.